hey guys welcome back to my another video in the previous video we have created the uh, show functionality uh, this is a task list which we have in our app let me make this a little bigger if I click this then it's gonna open the uh, dialog like a model here and it's, it will probably call the API and put the data here which is good so far and of course we also added the uh, the add functionality before if I click in this plus then we could able to add it right we could able to add a title and of course we can need to pick what kind of is, is, is it done already or pending maybe it says pending right it's not done so maybe I can change back to something else with uh, the uh, August right and we'll put something the description if I submit then we will see that the data will store in tables and as we can see here but if I click it here then we can show it here what I have data but we can't able to do update at this time so now we will create an update functionality so basically whenever we click this update button then we, we already to get that uh, whenever we click the update button then we will need to get that the, the data first and from that data we could call the service to update so we're gonna do this on this video so let's begin let's I'm gonna go to the so component.ts file and I, I'm pretty sure that the, whenever we click the button so let me verify that button is where is the button is as well so the button is right here so whenever I click on this button then this form update talks will call and the update talks is right here and and uh, yep and in update talks we will get the, the value of the form using the of course the same one the tax form uh, tax form basically tax form is a is a group uh, it's a form builder uh, it's a form group which is used uh, to create using the form builder here and in tax form that value we will get the all the values of the updated one right uh, value right value we'll get all the all the values here which is good so far so now here we need to create a service so let me go back to my service here so this is my service so it's, it's exact same thing like a post request but instead of the post we need to do here the put all right and this is the API and to update we also need to provide the ID we also need to tell that what ID you want to update right so let me do as update as a string so now I will tell them okay let's do as an interpolating uh, string interpolating features here using this the dollar signatures here okay so now I will get the ID I will, I'm passing this task and now it's allowing me to tell that okay this is the task that is going to update okay so here is a post talk so instead of the post let me do here the update okay this is going to be update that's why we call the put request here so an update talks list so we're gonna uh, not talks list of the talks only maybe we can update talks only so here we're gonna call that service and basically it's a what service we have it here is a talk service right and now we have an update or talks and now we need to provide the talks here and we also need to provide the ID what is the ID is going to be an ID we know it whenever we load this form then we will get the ID of it and here is the ID this dot data dot ID is the ID that we will get it uh, and after that when it's update then we will get a subscribe okay so let's try this Uh, some syntax issue here okay it's updating here but the one thing what we sending here in tax form is we're not sending any ID here but we have to make sure that what is our API required does our API require the ID on the body when we update it okay tax management is open so let me see where is it uh, let me go here in uh, Java here okay so now let me see the controller here I'll open the tax controller to see it okay it looks like it's taking the uh, ID so it's need the ID also of course on a body by itself so uh, hold on so whenever we get the ID then it's gonna throw the ID yep we don't need to provide the ID at all 
on the body i think it looks like we only need to provide the id on uh, parameter here because this is id which we got so what we can do here is uh, we can copy this and we can paste it here and we could do update here so let's let's test this out so that we could able to update it or not okay so it's my our project is running so i'm going to click on this one and let's change this title to something else uh, and i just want to do update this one so clicking on update so let's see okay looks like it's updated already okay so if i refresh it now then yep it, it does update it does update if i do to do and update and if it's refresh yep it is on to do it's updating which is perfectly fine guys so here of course if we got the error uh, then we're gonna throw this error on the console for now okay so throw the error on console so whenever we do update so now the next step is to close this model and go back to the uh, and uh, and refresh the uh, home page right refresh the home so we need to close this model and go back to the home so how we can close this model is basically we could use exactly this the, the, the dialog ref and we could able to close it which is also uh, should show on the on the material design and now let's uh, close this model and we know that we also get uh let me check where is it so yep we get the uh, dialog ref here so whenever it's update is good then we're gonna call the dialog ref dot close right we can call the close so now it's going to close this model whenever it's closed uh, whenever we update it so now let's see so it's refreshing Okay, so if I click it here and if I change something here with uh, maybe maybe change no I need to change this to maybe date one right then update then yep it is updating it's already update but looks like this is not even refresh right that's the problem so but if I refresh the whole thing it's going to refresh so we need to tell that list component that okay it's refresh and we need to reload that so how we can say that is basically the list component has the uh, dialog ref so whenever it's closed here so whenever it's closed then we can call this again to reload this our list okay so now let's try this so whenever i click it here and if i change something here right maybe the test and save then the test will show up right if i change to pending save and as you guys can see the pending is here right if i click it here it's the same thing with with the different id as well if i change this to test then it will change back to test okay it's updating my its whole collections here okay so now let's let's add uh, the delete functionality delete we have in our show component which is here on delete talks but we don't have uh, the the service created so i'm going to copy the exactly as for the update for delete the only thing what we need here is to uh, delete delete d d e l e t e delete task and we don't want this we want this id to be here and we need to create this function and the method is delete tox okay it is going to create it there and let me go to my service and it should be here somewhere here it is i will copy this and put it here below this update and it's exactly the same way for updates except we don't need to send this we just need to send the id and it, it will not return me the uh the here it just returned me the the message right and i don't need to provide this at all because it just returned me the message oh uh, yep i think it does so instead of here i need to use a delete and delete talks id and that's it so oh you know oh yeah it's returning me some string i guess i'm not exactly sure maybe object so let's see what is going to going to return me right so here is a delete and here's a delete talks i'm sending it and i'm closing this so let me see what we're returning here as well i think it's returned me some json message but let's see so now it's, it's reloading my this app which is good let me see so if i click it and if i delete it then 
yep it says now is that it has a problem uh, the reason behind it is, is the delete it says that uh, it's 404 so that means the delete is not available or delete doesn't even work here for this one somehow so let me go on this one okay it says that talks removed uh, so if I go here 404 so if I refresh let me see test is here if I click it and click this button and if I refresh looks like the delete is working but uh, it's, it's sending us the error so if I click it here and if I delete then it, it's working but the status code is sending as 404 so now let me go to my uh, here and let me see this oh it's oh whenever it talks is removed it's sending the not found here that was the issue so we need to change our uh, the code here in a spring in API so instead of this I'm sending the not found that's why it's giving an error here so I need to send here HTTP uh, success okay i could create a http status okay so i will save this so once i save it now the my this uh, the the server is going to rerun it okay and i'm going to minimize it i'm going to try one more time here again okay looks like my server is running and if i refresh it i see the json here so now let me run this project okay so here it is so if I click it here so now I could uh, able to delete if I click it delete so 21 tox is removed and looks like it's refreshed already here and it's removing so if I click it it just remove it right just removing combo multi signs so that's all for this video guys and in the next video in the final video maybe uh, I need to uh, make sure that I'm also reloading this data i need to make sure that my chart is working perfectly fine now we could able to add it we could able to uh, click it we could able to see it we could able to edit if we like and update it or we could able to delete if we like right we created all the crowd functionality and this is the additional functionality which i'm going to add it and this will also uh, whenever we update something it's going to refresh our chart as well and whenever it's reloading at first time we need to get the data from api to reload this chart because this chart is is not showing it's just showing the fake data but we want this data to show from the api that's what we're gonna do in next videos and thank you very much for watching these videos guys and if you guys like my video please do subscribe and bye for now